Okay, hey guys, so I'm going to begin today by creating this um, this model for, this is model number six in our CSWA exam question preps. And um, just noticing this in millimeters, and we do have global variables which you should create, um, A through A, B, and C, um, the mass which is shown, and here's our model here. So um, we have SOLIDWORKS set up just in millimeters and high quality um, image, and so I think I'm just ready to go here. All right, so I'm just looking at the model here. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna go to tools and equations and go ahead and set up my global variables. So A tab is equal to 63 and enter. And B tab is equal to 50 tab. And then C is tab equal to 100. All right, and I'll click OK, set those. And also notice that over here the equation to show that those are all set up now. All right, now we're ready to begin. So in my model, I'm going to start with the, the sketch that's going to create the most mass first, which is going to be a right-hand sketch and extrude it across. And C is the width, A is the height, and B is right depth. Okay, so in the right plane, I'm going to create a sketch here and move this up a little bit and I'll begin with creating the, the base here come around 100 millimeters start creating the shape, the outline of the object here, come down a little bit I'm going to create a um, an edge here for this bottom edge and then using the S key for my um, shortcuts I'm going to bring a center line up for the center of this arc that's going to be right in here okay, that's great, so now a center point arc it's going to go from that point um, to the line and up like this and then I'm just going to click on these two points and with the control key choose both of those and make them merged alright so that's connected click on this point and choose tangency make sure that's tangent and I can start putting in dimensions now um, and I'm going to have a um, circle here, a hole and I'll go ahead and put in the um, four dimensions, I'll go ahead and put in this, this shape down here as well I'm going to use a Sketch fill it with 10 millimeters right here. Check mark that, creates that. I'm going to trim out the bottom here and I'm ready to put in my dimensions. Okay, so dimensioning. Um, from the origin to this edge here, I'm going to type in equals um, and it's going to be C, which is 100, which is our width. And check mark that. The height from the bottom edge here to here. Oops, I'm sorry, it's not right. From, um, let's try that again. From the bottom edge to the top here is going to be, I believe it's A. Let me just check that. Yep, it's going to be A. So equals A. All right, check mark that. Got it. Okay. Um, next thing is the rest of the dimensions, which is 40 across, 15 up here. Uh, the diameter of 10 for the hole, 10 across. This is 45 degrees, 20 degrees, radius 10, um, 15, and 40. Okay, so let's put that in now. All right. So um, this is going to be 15, and this one here is going to be 40, and diameter 10 for the circle, and distance from here to here is going to be 10, I believe. That's right. And notice that I'm going to use a center line to line up the center with this tangency point, which is shown in the drawing, and make that horizontal right there. So the center comes around with these um, reference lines and shows that it's in line with that. All right. um, coming back, I'm going to put a um, from this line to this line should be 45. Um, from this one to this one should be 20 degrees. That's right. I'm going to bring that down a little bit just to bring those into view. All right. um, and distance for this one is going to be 15 and from this point to this point is going to be 40. All right, cool. Um, all right, so I'm missing a radius here. So the radius of this is going to be 30 radius. It's 35 up to that center point. So let's do that. So this is a 30 radius. And from the origin to this center point here should be 35. Enter. Okay. So notice that the whole thing is defined now. Everything's in the position. I think it looks right to me. And... I'm going to trim this off and just kind of fix this right here because I want this to be connected. I'm going to use the extend entities command 
just have that go down and connect right there. All right, now I'm ready to go. Okay, so I'm going to exit Sketch. Um, sketch 1 is highlighted. I'm going to go to Features and Extrude a Boss Base. I'm going to flip this over, and the extrusion distance is actually B right here. So I'm going to, right here where the distance is, highlight this, type in equals, and then I have my global variable options. Should be B. All right, check mark that. So that creates that, okay? And I'm actually going to um, turn off the copper for now. A little bit easier to work with without copper. And I am in plain white, by the way, just to make it easier to kind of see everything. All right, so Control-7 for isometric. Um, next thing is to create this cutaway here, and then the top cuts. So the cutaway is, again, 20 radius, and it is lined up with the center of the hole. Um, and that's really all we have for that. Okay, and some nine deep. So I'll click on the surface and start a sketch here. Um, and again, so I will create a line to come down here like this. And I'm going to use a center point arc because the center is on this edge here. And I will come over to this line, come across like this, and intersect it like that. So it's coincident. Um, this should be tangent. Make sure it is. And I'll dimension this so that this is 20. All right, and then this, I'm going to put a center line, just to line this up um, visually from here to here to the center, and that should be horizontal, and that should make it defined. All right, so everything's lined up. The edge, tangent the edge to the center to this center over here, which is coincident with this line on this side, should be all set up. All right, now I'll finish um, making the closed region like this. And then I'll exit my sketch and extrude a cut. And the, dis the distance in is 9 right there. So we'll do that. And check like that. Okay, so there's the cut in. Got that. From the top surface, click on the top here and start a sketch. And I know that this is this cut goes all the way through the bottom because of the asymmetric layout of the reference lines. And you have to assume that any kind of a cut, ch cut or channel goes down through it. The hole goes all the way through as well. So this is a 12 by 50 cut, and the hole is 10, 30 away this way, and 9 away from that edge. All right. So I'll go ahead and create my rectangle here of 12 by 50, and put the hole in right there, and go and dimension this. So this is going to be 50, <coughs> 12, um, diameter is 10 for this, distance from the edge is 30. And distance from this edge to the center here is going to be 9. All right, cool. So this is all defined and in place. I'll go to exit sketch and then do extrude a cut. And this should just be through all because I know it goes all the way through. All right. All right, cool. So the back should look like this where it's cut away. The hole comes through and just kind of barely misses this edge here. And that's important to, for your mass weight. So be careful of that. And a few more things to do here. One is to start a, start a sketch on this surface. All right, and then create this angled cut right here, which is a 18 high by 20 degrees, and it cuts all the way through. So I'll just go ahead and create this um, triangle profile like this, and then smart dimension this line, which is 18, and this should be 20 degrees right here. All right, cool. So there it is. And notice how I'm just turning. When I make a sketch, I turn the model to make sure it's in the right position before I begin extruding or cutting. Should be an extruded cut. Again, it should just be through all. And I'll just check mark that. Alright, so that's all set to go. Um, last thing is create this cutout here around the front. Let me zoom in a little bit. Uh, I'm going to use a revolve cut to make this and then extrusion to extrude these guys across right there. This revolve cut has a profile which is 13 across right there. Um, the diameter of this edge here is radius 25. Um, this edge here is a radius 10, and it has a 5 um, within this piece back in here, which is against this back edge, right? So 13 by 25 by 10 by 5, all right. So start on this surface here and create a sketch. And again, I'm going to make the profile to do a revolve cut. So start like this and bring this over like this. And bring it out to the edge like this. And I'll make this vertical. All right, there it goes. I'll go ahead and dimension this. Uh, this should be 13. 
and the height is total is 25 for that radius. Um, this is 10, and I believe this is 5. All right, cool. So that's all set. And again, it's on that surface. And exit sketch. And then to um, I'll choose revolve cut. And the axis rotation is actually at this edge right here, which it revolves around and makes that cut away like that. Cool. All right. Lastly, is to create this boss right <coughs> here, which is a um, a ten diameter boss. It says, and then this piece here comes back eight and has a 25 radius for that little piece right there. Okay, So I'll start a sketch. Notice I'm starting on this surface right here. Um, and I'm going to create the first is this. Right on, the, on that tangency edge right there, the center of the rotation again is this circle. I'm going to create a, um, a line up from here. And I'm going to convert entities of this edge here. And you'll see why in just a minute. And also, and I'm sorry, I should have done this one as well at the same time. And I'm going to go ahead and create the radius from this point here, which is the center of the other radius. So center point arc from this point and from here, bring it across. I'm going to go ahead and extend this sketch line now over to there. So it just extends it across, which is nice. And I'll go ahead and just trim um, this off, this off here. And I don't need this anymore. Uh, we already knew that, so that's all good. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and um, dimension this. This is a 25 radius for this. Um, this should be a 10 diameter for this one. Now let's me set like that. And just make sure this is in the right position. X my sketch, features, extruded by space. And let's click on this to grab that again and flip that over. And I'm just going to clear this selection so it sees both of them. And that should be 8 millimeters in depth, which it is. Check mark that. Okay, so I think I'm good to go. And I'm going to go ahead and um, check the isometric against my um, sketch here. I think we're good. So let's go ahead and um, change material to copper. And then go to the mass way here and see how we're doing. So, boom. 1280.33 grams, which is right on right there. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye.